Well, we will be testing this new LLM, which is GLM 4.5. There are some claims that it aligns with how Kimi K2 performs, and you can see Sonnet 4 still on the top level, but you will see right here, GM LM 4.5, although we won't know at the moment, is on the top of these popular LLMs that we are already using. Now, to prove that, we always have this complex prompt right here to create a directory website using this data right here. So if you gather your business listings from GFA Scraper, so at the moment, this is the easiest way to gather, to fetch business listings. If you want to create directory such as this one, uh, this is a directory related to public toilets around Australia. And you can see right here, you were able to get Google AdSense for this directory. And we started getting this day ads revenue based on the visits of this website. So you can see the ads around this website. We also have this another directory called Tattoo Shops in Australia. And again, this is a Google AdSense approved website. So directory is quite effective if you want to generate passive income using display ads because it can easily attract traffic. And later on, once you feel that you're receiving enough traffic, then you can apply for display ads. So to be able to do that, we were using LLM such as Gemini 2.5 Pro, but the best so far is using Sonnet 4. Now, if we are able to replace Sonnet 4 because we know Sonnet 4 is quite expensive. Although when you run this prompt in Sonnet 4, it won't cost you that much. So the entire thing will just cost you around $1 to create this entire directory. And you will have this output right here. So here, this is the director, the directory in my local, and we will be testing this prompt using GLM 4.5. As you know, we are using local WP. So this is local WP so that you will be able to run WordPress website in your local computer. So just search on Google local WP, install this, and you will be able to set up multiple WordPress. Now to start vibe coding, this directory right here, this prompt right here, you click this VS code and here in VS code, you will see all the related files of your WordPress set up in your local. Now, in this example, we will be using either RuCode or Klein. Maybe let's go to Klein. So you just install this extension right here, which is Klein. And here we will be changing this to use open router and the model we will use GLM 4.5. So I'm just going to copy this and head back to our VS code and make sure you paste the correct model right there. So there you go. We are now using GLM 4.5 and this is very cost effective, just 0.20 per million tokens. So hopefully our custom prompt right here will result to a really decent theme that we can use. So we can replace that, totally replace, but will be an alternative to Sonnet 4 or Gemini 2.5 Pro. Now, what you do is get a copy of this custom prompt. So it's in the description below. So just access that using that link. So I'm going to copy this and head over to a blank notepad, then paste that right there. Because our directory is already existing, so right here, I don't need to create, because I also uploaded this data. So if you want a workflow on how this got created, it's in the description below, so just follow that video. In this one, we will just be testing if we can use GLM 4.5 to create a decent theme, just like what we have at the moment. So this fresh copy, I don't need to create ACF fields because we already uploaded the listing. And here, the instruction right here, you just remove the custom fields as well. Now, the folder name, we will just have it a uh, name of our directory, which is beauty salon in AU. And then just put the model in case you want to experiment different LLM to code your, to vibe code your from. Now, site title, I just have it as the business listing and then the country. So here, just to give you an overview, we took sample business listings around Australia related to beauty salon. So all the category that goes in the beauty salon. So we took them and just gathered 100 listings just for an example. So if you want to scrape a new one, so you just need to go to straight business listing. So for example, you want to scrape HVAC contractor and here you're going to choose the country. Suppose you want to scrape in the United States. And if you want to scrape around the United States or just a certain region, so you just select it right here and the number of results. So that's how easy you can use it. You can start with small one because once you have the small one, for example, you start with 500 listings and you want to grow that. So you can always go back to the generated CSV. It will provide you the offset token. So the next time you scrape the same, make sure it's the same query, just provide the token right here, the offset token in this field. So you will not scrape the business listings that you already gathered in the previous one. So that's very effective approach. Suppose you want to start a small directory, then slowly grow it. Now to continue, here uh, that the custom post key we will just have it as beauty salon and then taxonomy or category we are categorizing it by a state because we scraped entire now uh, beauty salon in australia so team name 
Make it simple, just have it same as the older name and then the Google Cat category, it doesn't matter. So just it's or some data to be reflected correctly. And the country, make sure it's Australia. So you can have the color palette side your headset code here, but if you want the LLM to decide, so just remove that. And you can also go to the line 29 or line 30, remove this line that says apply the color palettes because you already removed the settings. And that's all. Now we're gonna select everything and copy, going back to our VS code. So make sure you're using the correct GLM 4.5 and basic right there and we're ready to go. Now we just need to wait for a few moments for this to be completed. Some LLM model will take quite slow and will take some time to complete the custom prompt. But if you're using Gemini 2.5 Pro or Sonnet 4, it's quite fast, like in two minutes, the entire directory is completed. And now we're testing this GLM 4.5, so let's see. Great, so it completed our request right here and it just spent 0 0.16, so really cost effective. And if this can make the prompt that we provided a really decent team, then this is a good alternative for Sonnet 4 or Gemini 2.5 Pro. Now let's go ahead and go to our team. So we should now see new teams right here. And this is the team. So you can see GLM 4.5, let's activate it and let's view the site. So this should be the place where we need to add a hero section image. And what is this? This is Australian Capital Region. So these are all the images of the state. So it looks a bit messy right there. So these are all the states so and popular business laws around Australia. So actually it did follow the prompt. It just had some issue with the layout, but functionality is there. So you can see that's an easy fix actually. You So if the prompt, the LLM is able to follow the structure, then fixing the font and won't be a problem. So you can do that. So these are all cards format and let's check one of the listing. So it's displaying the listing. So what can you expect? This is a cheap model, but still able to follow. So this is actually better than Gemini 1.5 Flash because if you use Gemini 2.5 Flash, it cannot follow this from only Gemini 2.5 Pro can follow this, but the cheap model of the Gemini is not able to follow this prompt. Yep, so it just doesn't have the design, but the structure is there. So we go to Queensland. So these are all the listings in Queensland. So we just need to fix the front end to be able to have it like this. But the structure is perfectly working, actually. So we go to one of the listings. So let's say here. So this is the city level, which is OK. As you can see, we can go there. And we have this listing. And we have the description. And let's go to home. Let's visit other states. So it's just that. So as you can see here, the one that speaks, we have the image of the state right here. That's why we can see the state and other the image of uh, Australian capital region. But other states won't have images just like here. So again, guys, this is an easy fix. If it's able to follow the structure, you can prompt that to make it appear nicer or look modern. So things like that. Let's go to one of the states again, Victoria. So this one, we have two listings. Let's see how it's going to display multiple listings. So it's displaying two cards for two listings. And so nearby is able to get the nearby uh, beauty salon, which is nice. Again, this is an easy fix, guys. It's just a matter of hitting prompting again to fix the entire appearance. So. I think that's about it guys. So that's how we're going to test if an LLM engine can be as powerful as Sonnet 4, just by prompting them a complex instruction, just like here. All right. So hopefully uh, you get some insight out of this and see you on the next one.